Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. Please remember to give this video a like, give it a thumbs up if it's helpful to you because that will help other students to find the video. In this video, we're going to use the diagram we're given to find the measure of the angle BCD. So looking at this diagram, you can see that we have three angles that are marked. We have the angle B, which is uh, 5x degrees. We have the angle A, which is 18x plus 12 degrees. And then over here, I can't call it just angle C because there are, is more than one angle that could be called angle C. So we have to refer to it by its three points, DCB or BCD. This angle is 26x minus 3 degrees and we're trying to find this one. This one was formed, notice, by extending one side of a triangle. This angle is called an exterior angle. And in order to solve this problem, we need to know the relationship between the exterior angle, DCB, and the two what we call opposite interior angles, A and B. So before we try and solve this problem and get into the uh, algebra part, um, let's go ahead and look at a more concrete uh, example of a diagram like this one. So this is different. This is not for this problem. This is just to help us wrap our brain around the relationships between the angles. So let's look at this diagram here. I have a similar situation. I have a triangle. One side's been extended. I have an exterior angle and I have the two opposite interior angles marked here. Notice I did not mark how many degrees um, is the measure of the exterior angle, but we can quickly figure that out because the exterior angle forms a straight angle with this interior angle of 40 degrees. So if we wanted to know how much or what's the measure in degrees of this exterior angle, we could take the measure of a straight line, which is 180 degrees, and subtract from that the 40 degrees of the inside part, and that would leave us with an exterior angle of 140 degrees. Remember how in our problem we want to know the relationship between the exterior angle and the two angles not adjacent to it but opposite um, that angle on the inside of the triangle. Well, those are called opposite interior angles. And notice that if you were to add 30 and 110, you would get 140 degrees also. So it turns out that the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles. And it, it's, it makes sense that it would be because remember all three of the interior angles of the triangle must add up to 180. And um, so 40 plus the other two angles has to add up to 180, just like 40 plus the exterior angle has to add up to 180. So whenever you have to work with an exterior angle of a triangle, think about the fact that the exterior angle is the sum of the two opposite interior angles. So we're going to use that fact to find the missing angle measures. Our exterior angle has a measure of 26x minus 3. And then we're going to add together the two opposite interior angles. So the 5x is one of them, plus we have 18x plus 12. So we have an equation. It's a linear equation, meaning there's no powers on the x or anything uh, crazy. <laughs> and so what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, solve it for x by getting all the x terms to one side and the number terms to the other. But first we're going to combine like terms within each side. There are no like terms on the left, but on the right we have 5x and 18x. So we get 26x minus 3 equals 23x plus 12. All right, now I'm going to, now remember an equation keeps a balance, right? So each side of this red line has the same amount on it. So I can do whatever I want as long as I do it to both sides of the equation. So for example, 
Um, if I want to get only x terms on the left, I can subtract 23x from both sides, and I'll be left with 3x's minus 3 equals, this goes away completely, so we're just going to have a 12. And then we're going to use the same idea, but to move the number 3 over to the other side of the red line. Right, so again, this keeps the balance. We're going to add 3 to both sides so that they stay balanced. And we're going to have 3x equals 15. Now the operation between the 3 and the x is multiplication. So to reverse that operation, we need to divide both sides by 3. That's still going to keep everything equal. So that's going to leave us with x is equal to 5. All right, so now that x is equal to 5 is a, a fact that we've figured out. Do we write 5 as our answer? No. This problem, by the way, was taken from my math lab um, from the textbook Mathematical Ideas by Miller, Hornsby, and Heron, and we are going to um, have to answer the question that was asked. It says, use the diagram to find the measure of the exterior angle BCD. It doesn't actually ask us for x, right? Because the exterior angle was 26x minus 3. So remember, we just found that x is equal to 5. So we're going to have to plug in 5 here. So we're going to get 26 times 5 minus 3 which gives us 130 minus 3, or 127 degrees. So that's the measure of the exterior angle, and that's what you would type into the box in my math lab. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to like it. That helps other students to find the video.